I've never shot an intro. So, let's shoot an intro. River, how do we want to start this one? Good morning, Way of Fishing. Welcome to the channel. We are out here doing one of my most favorite things in the world. We're floating a river in a very remote section of Virginia for big smallmouth bass. Although I've only caught little smallmouth bass, that's what we're doing. So I've got two or three small ones, really smalls, um, but it's still fun, most beautiful scenery I've ever seen. So come along for the ride. I've got uh, Reggie over there, uh, actually my good friend who sold me my very first kayak. If you notice, I'm in the, oh, he's got a fish. I'm in the, uh, the feel free. And uh, there's gonna be another video that talks about the, no skunk, that talks about why I'm in the feel free and not the bona fide. So make sure that you tune in for the second video that's gonna follow this one. We're shooting it today, but it's gonna come out after this one. Um, it should be informative and hopefully uh, you guys like the, both of the videos. So that's it for me talking. I'm going back to fishing. Looks like we finally got into a section where the fish are trying to bite. Um, it's really hot. Um, it's been over 100 degrees in Virginia the last week. So um, that's really gonna affect the fishing. So back to it. Here's my problem. I'm gonna have a smallmouth. The water's so clear, I'm gonna get excited. It's not just coming. Cause I almost just, oh, just, oh, just, I did just what I said I was gonna do. I don't know if that was a blue deal or what. And I pulled it away from him before he could. I still haven't had a fish yet. <laughs> what did you say? said he still hasn't gotten a fish yet. You're the last one with the skunk. You got to fix that. Damn, so go ahead of me. Huh? Um, I said go ahead of me. I'm going to give you this left side undercut right here. Are you sure? Are you sure? Oh, yeah. I don't want to go into that tree. No, you go ahead and fish that. I'm not going to touch it. crazy thing is, as clear as this water is and as shallow as it is, the smallmouth will disappear. You on the way with hiding. That is the first time I've ever seen a bear in real life. That was a big bear. I was trying to get my phone out, but I was freaking out too much. <laughs> I don't know. The GoPro behind me is running. I don't know if it caught it. That was a long distance. Yo! You might be able to bear! Get Bear! Bear! Big bear! Grown bear! Yeah, in the river! <laughs> he said, call him out, left, right, six o'clock. He ran up in the woods. That's the first time I've ever seen a bear. Yeah, he was in the river. Ran across and went up in the woods. Oh, Warren, what in the world? Fish hit it too. Got him. <laughs> Got him. On the top of water. They finally have it. Monster. <laughs> That's what we spent thousands of dollars a year for. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're getting bigger though, they're getting bigger. Hey, you found the other one. 
No, fish! No! I would say me and you are going to go to the right, but the deep strike is going to the left. I'm also not really trying to be quiet of any kind of way. Trying to what? Not trying to, I'm not really trying any way to be quiet. Oh shit! Damn! What? You okay? <laughs> I ice skated across a rock and I just kept skating. I couldn't get it. And then I just went down to stop the sliding. <laughs> It's all I could do to stop. <laughs> no other option but just to stop. Oh, baby. Walking the dog. Who needs a Zara spook where you can walk the dog with a kayak? Reggie, everybody. Who's Reggie? Okay. 13 inch or so. Okay. Same as you earlier. Over there. Little dark area with a ledge. Yep. Uh, right at the boat. Got one. There you go. That's a nice one. That's a nice fish. My best fish of the day. Little 12 incher. He missed it and boiled and came back for it. Huh? Uh, chatterbait with a fluke on it, no skirt. Got, got that one. Ooh. Woo! Get out of that tree. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, that's a nice fish. Hello, Mr. Small Jaw. Oh, yeah. Hello, Mr. Small Jaw. Smouth. Nope. I broke it. A. Oh, look at that head wake from him. Oh, look at that fish. I'm going to take just a second to tell y'all what I did. So this is a... How do you catch a bluegill on a chatterbait? I told you I did it twice. This is a micro chatterbait. I took the skirt off and put a paddle tail fluke on it in a white silver pattern. And I've just been throwing that. Uh, I got to break crooked. But, um... This is getting me bites. A regular chatterbait with the fluke trailer was getting me short strikes, a um, lot of brim. This one is actually getting me good fish. I've gotten two good fish and a follow in the last 10 minutes. Um, so we're going to stick with this. I've got a, about a half a pack of these flukes. So we'll see how well, how long I can keep it going. How long I can keep the party going. I'm having to wind it kind of slow to keep it below the surface because the minnow body is actually too much for this jig head. It's throwing it, giving it a real crazy action. Real crazy.
I found the pattern. The bait. He just crushed it. Oh! <laughs> I popped the bait and he smashed it. <laughs> yeah, baby. I broke my one fish streak. Knock slack in it. Ain't even that big. Mean sucker. Got one. Largey? Large mouth. Large mouth. Now I just need a spot and I'll have a slam. Got him. Chatterbait, another large mouth. White. So I'm imitating minnows. Um, slow because this bait is throwing the weight of the bait off. Did you throw the rod in the water? Oh, missed him. Oh my gracious. The fluke chatterbait is where it's at today. Shoot. About to have an accident. Let little buddy go. Yeah. Look at the clear water. Ha <laughs> ha. Man, he hit that jaw soon as it hit the water. Look at him underneath the boat. Mm. Love that clear water sometimes. Hate it sometimes too, but. Get off my worm, you little dinks. Go get your mama. Where your mama now? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, go get your mama. There's so many little fish chasing my bait right now. I hit the rock. It fell off the rock and then he just darted into the river. Ooh. Pink worm, baby. No. Large mouth. Pink worm, baby. Let me get the pink worm working. It's over. Lights out. Man, it's quiet. What? Hey, bear. Large mouth. What is up with the large mouth? Are you sure you're touching the tongue? Yep. <laughs> it's a pretty fish right there. Crayfish Ned. Six pound test. 
As soon as I put it on, I started noticing the fish would behave. He jumped in the boat. <laughs> Largemouth. Can't turn down this hole right here, though. God damn. Pink worm. Hey. Spotted bass. It's probably a hybrid, actually. Yo, that's a hybrid. Reggie! I got a spot largemouth hybrid. That is a hybridized spotted bass largemouth right there. I'm gonna say the camera's on. It's got a little rough patch right on his tongue. It does not have the lateral, and then the jaw extends past the eye. A little bit of that bullet shape that you see in spotted bass too. But that is a hybrid. That's a first. So we're gonna go ahead and count that as a slam. In one day, that's a spot, large mouth, and spot and a small mouth all in one day. Goodbye. Thank you for hitting the pink worm, baby. Pink worm. Reggie, Reggie is literally behind me going one after the other on the Ned Rig. He saw a big spotted bass, threw the Ned out, got a decent size smallie, threw out again, got another smallie. Now he's just behind me going, ooh, ooh. Just, I don't know. It's, he's, he's on him right now. I paddled right through. <laughs> he ditched his boat. <laughs> I paddled right through that section, never saw a fish. That just goes to show how good these fish can actually hide in rock crevices and and all. Whoa! Never saw that fish. Smalley. Huh? Pink worm. I got plenty of pink worms if you want one. I'm catching the fire out of them. I put the rod down so that I could fix my camera and it almost got snatched off the boat. It looks like I only have half the worm. Huh. What bites worms in half? Oh, dink. That ain't a dink. Eat it. 
my God, it's two of them. Yes. They were fighting over it. I was waiting for him to get the whole thing in his mouth. Yes. They won't even that little. I know they spooked now. All these boats that came past. <laughs> Yay, Keith got his big small mouth. Oh, that's a grown one. That's a grown one. Come here. <sighs> oh my gosh, I cannot get this fish. Uh He's still fighting. Whoo! <laughs> you still backwards. I know, I'm trying to tell you that. Oh, he got the Jordan tongue hanging out. No. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, Far cry from where you started this morning. I stink. Bruh. We just did. Tired outro. <laughs> we li Look at him. The sun's gotten to us. We literally just portaged our kayaks for a mile ankle-deep water full of chunky rocks we had to drag them and pull them and push them and stumble and he fell and oh Reggie fell <laughs> sweat is pouring off me like a faucet right now I'm sitting in the river trying to cool off it's probably gonna get dark on us but you know the hardcore do what the hardcore must do yeah but it'll probably be dark before we get off this river so Today is turning into one hell of an adventure. Uh, the morning started off slow, caught some decent fish. But I don't think this is the outro, but it might be. <laughs> I don't know if I'm fishing anymore. <laughs> I'm spent, man. If I see a big smallmouth, though, I might have to cast to it. So. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm tired. Look, thanks for watching Way of Fishing. I try to keep it fresh and innovative and new and diverse and fishing for all kinds of things, doing all kinds of things. So um, I appreciate you guys for subscribing. As you know, I always say, thanks for watching my Way of Fishing. Get out there and fish your way. I'm probably going to keep fishing, but 
there's a high likelihood of not. <laughs> uh, I was, I was just about to say, how come Reggie's the only person seeing these smallmouth? And that's right when you set your hook. Nope.